really, first of all, I consider this an honor because it's not like I know the man of the hour with the power, like I've known him for a very long time. In fact, as a board member of the Willie D. Davis Scholarship Fund, that is how I had the privilege to read about him and to get acquainted with his greatness and then to officially meet him. So some of you all have known him way longer than I have, and you have had the privilege to be in the presence of such a wonderful young person. And so I am like totally do the happy dance, hey, excited that I, that I get to be out there to do this. And you know, and so I wanna, I, I wanna thank his mom because when we had our orientation overview of the scholarship fund. We were doing this overview and I had to say a few words and it really wasn't anything spectacular, but she said, I want you to come to the graduation. Party. I said, party? Food and people with smiles and celebrating your son? I will be there. And so I am here to say, first and foremost, those of you all that know our guest of honor tonight, that know him, understand when you look at his name, M-A-S-A, -S -A, when you say ma Say when you look at that, you look at the letters, the first that M to me, because I don't know him, but I know his essence. When you meet people, you can get into their soul if you pay attention to them. And as he sat in that room, he said over there, he was looking at everyone, you know, we everybody was talking, giving all the rules and regulations. He was sitting there, just nice and calm. And that M to me stands for majestic. I felt like I was looking at total royalty. A man, like I said, a young man that understands he possesses in his hand a certain power, a certain dignity. And then I looked at the A. And the A, he's going to school to be an architect, if I'm, was, am I correct? Well, is it architect? That's what he is right now. You know, get up there, you might change. But right now it's architect. And architects are people who build. They are aware and concerned about safety. They construct, they make foundations. And if you know him, he's that kind of guy. He likes to have a stable foundation. Don't get me wrong, the S in there stands for swift. So even if the foundation is unstable, he's swift enough to know how to switch the gears. Yeah. He's swift. And not only is he swift, he's smart. He's smart. And not just fake and smart. Some people can fake intelligence. He doesn't have to fake intelligence. No. He does not have the fake intelligence. You know, and so when you think about that, when you take that, you think about the man that he is, I'm glad he's graduating. Because we need more young people to graduate who aspire to have success, who understand community, and who understand the spirit, who understand what it's like to have a spirit, a spirit of goodness, a spirit for change, a spirit to give, a spirit that says, I can make a difference kind of spirit. So when we look, and, I'll, and I, I was just amazed at the reading of his information. And then once I met the spirit, once I met this eager young man, once I met a person who has an eye on the future, I said, shoo, I want to shake his hand again and again. Because who does not like to be touched by good power that is loving, that has care, and is committed to making a change and doing something for the greater good. Who does not want that? Is there anyone in this room that does not want that? We all want that. So right now, I want everyone to give a rousing, rousing This young man represents to me all that is good and fine and decent. Now, don't get me wrong, he, 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 the, 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 the essence of who he is is great, but everyone in here is human, so you know we make mistakes, right? But like I said, he's swift. He knows how to recover. He, you know, he knows how to stand up for what he is and what he does. And so I say to you, I say to you directly, sir, your mother, your mother, who I call Lady P, because she is a queen. She is a queen, and we bow down to her, because through her came you. And the power that lies in you, that God, God laid upon you, is to understand that that power can be yielded and wielded for good 
or for not. And as you go away to school, freedom is different when you're away from your folks. Freedom is different. It comes in all shapes and sizes and smells. It'll come to you through your books and through bodies. And so we want you to focus on your books as you look around you. We want you to pay attention to how you develop in your mind and pay homage to the woman that God gave you through. And live up to what, who you know you are. Not who she or we want you to be, but who you can be. And you only know a part of that now, and as you go through school, you'll learn the rest of it. And all of his friends here, everyone in here that knows him and cares for him, our role is to support you. It's to brag on you, and support you, encourage you, and when necessary, pop you upside your head every now and then, and hug you at the same time. That's our role. But as you learn how to be a leader beyond where you are now, as all of us have learned, we must meet the challenge of greatness. And to those of us that much is given, we know we must give back, don't we? And going to school is an awesome thing, but it is not easy. And so for you, I'm looking forward to your journey. I'm looking forward to you unleashing on the world the magnitude of your majestic ways. I'm looking forward to the benefits of that because it will definitely benefit everyone that walks around you, that has the time to be next to you, that has the time to be in your classes. Your professors are going to be eyewitness to greatness when they have you in their classroom. They're going to have to alter their, te their teaching style because of the mind that you're going to bring to that classroom. Amen. They're going to have to alter and take it to another level. Mm -hmm. And then your classmates will know that they have been touched by a genius. Amen. And so as you go through the world and you walk and you talk, understand, people will be paying homage to you and you may not see them bow down. You may not see them all say, oh, 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 he come. But that's what they will be doing for you, for the essence of who you are. But always take goodness and gladness with you. Goodness and gladness and love and care. And do not forget that you live in a world that's here and you have a world that's afar. And you can link these two worlds together. America and Africa. You have the power to stretch wide and bring folks all across the world together. You have that power. Some people can't do that. Most people can't cross bridges and build bridges, but you are the architect. You're the young man of the hour with the power. And I beseech you to don't let anything in your own mind. Because all the time we say, it's what other people tell us, but we know it's not what other people tell us. It's what we're telling ourselves. We must say yes to us. You must say yes to your dreams. You must say yes to your goals. All of the graduates, where are the other graduates that are here? The other seniors that are, that are they graduate. You, you get out school. Let's give them a round of applause. a release and then you spend the summer trying to be free and have fun raise earn a little money and then you get ready for school and so I say to you this is something that we always think about when I talk to young people is take a look at yourself and hear what I say all of us were put together in a special way you see what I'm saying ain't no bunk because our creator does not take time to create junk he gave us all a body and we should treat our body like everyone should. So watch the drinking and the smoking and everything else we get there, just avoid it. He gave us his body to treat like we should. And he gave you a good brain. And you need to take that brain and put it to use. And when people see you, they're going to know they got their eyes set on a VIP. People, what's a VIP? What's a VIP? And we are in the presence and essence of a VIP right there. Make 
sure when your mother has to cry while you are away at school, that it's out of joy that you kept your grades up. That it's out of joy that they wrote something about you positive. That she saw you on TV and she said, that's my son. And she has to smile and tell a story. Make sure it's a story that she can take to the New York Times or the Washington Post or the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Make sure it's a story to be wrote and make sure it's a story that she can put in a frame if she has to speak on it. Live up to your goals, but supersede the goals of the natural because you are definitely an awesome young man. So I say once again to you, it's my honor. It's my honor to have met you, to have read about you, and to see you and to lock locks with you and know the power that we carry in our soul. <laughs> to know the power that we carry. And there is no burden that we cannot win. There is no war, no storm that we cannot rise above. And for you, you're the ultimate. So people, we know the magnitude of Mr. Majestic. We know this, right? Don't y'all know that? The food and the fun we're having tonight is great but he is magnificent and we want to make sure that the world knows it through everything that he does so we support you let's give it up for him one more time the eager young man that we all cannot wait to keep reading about and i say to you i love you and i respect you so much and i will be sending cards and whatever else is needed to support you in this endeavor. Because it is important that you be the magnificent, majestic man that you dare to dream to be. Thank you very much.